Hello ladies and gentlemen. In today's video I'm going to show you how to solve one step equations. As you can see we have three important things that we need to remember when solving for one step equations. The first thing you need to know is that in order to solve the equation you have to isolate the variable. What that means is you're trying to get the variable which is typically the letter x equal to a number. So you're trying to isolate the x on one side of the equal sign by itself. In order to do that, you need to use inverse operations to undo parts of the equation. What that means is you need to use the opposite operation of whatever is happening in the equation. That means if you're adding, you have to subtract because subtracting is the opposite of adding. And if you're subtracting, then you'll need to add. If you're multiplying, you'll have to divide because division is the opposite of multiplication. And if you're dividing, you'll have to multiply. The last thing you can do is to check your answer to make sure it's correct. In order to do this, you take whatever your solution is and you substitute it back into the original equation and see if you get a true statement. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other helpful math videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to work and get started with some practice problems. Here is our first practice problem. This problem gives us x plus 4 equals 12. Now remember, we're trying to isolate x, which means we're trying to get it by itself. In order to do this, we have to undo the plus 4. The opposite of plus 4 is minus 4, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. Remember, anything you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So on the left here, we have x plus 4, but we're going to minus 4. So plus 4 minus 4, well those cancel. And all we're left with on this side is x which is what we want. We want an isolated variable. And then on the right, you do 12 minus 4, and 12 minus 4 is 8. So the solution to this one-step equation is x equals 8. Now the last thing you can do is you can take this 8 and you can substitute it back into the original equation for x. When we do this, we'll say 8 plus 4, because now x is 8, equals 12. And what happens is you get 8 plus 4, which is 12, and you get 12 equals 12, so that we know our solution is correct, because we have a true statement. Moving on to number 2, we have x minus 6 equals 3. So again, we're trying to isolate x and get it by itself. In order to do this, we have to undo this minus 6. So the opposite of minus 6 is plus 6, so I'm going to go ahead and add 6 here. And I'm also going to add 6 to the other side. So we have x now on this side because the 6 is canceled. And then we have 3 plus 6 on this side, which is 9. So our solution is just going to be x equals 9. Then again, the last step we can do is we can take our solution, which is 9, and plug it in for x and substitute it in. So we got 9 minus 6 now equals 3. And then 9 minus 6 is 3, so we have 3 equals 3. That's a true statement, so we know our solution is correct. Moving on to our last practice problem. This one gives us 3x equals 21. So this one-step equation has a coefficient next to the variable. When you have a coefficient with next to the variable, that means that they're being multiplied. So it's not written, but there's a little multiplication symbol there. So this is like saying 3 times x equals 21. Now the opposite of 3 times x is to divide by 3. So this is multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. In order to show that, I'm going to just draw this fraction bar here, which means divide, and put a 3 underneath. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So I'm going to divide by 3 on this side. These will cancel. So times 3 and divide by 3 cancel. We have just x left over. And then 21 divided by 3 is 7. So now we have x equals 7, and we can check that by taking 7 and substituting it in for x. So we're going to say 3 times 7 equals 21. 3 times 7 is 21, so 21 equals 21. I know that my solution of x equals 7 is correct. And if you want to do some more practice on one-step equations, go ahead and click this link in the video, and you'll be taken to some quick practice problems that will give you a grade based on how you did. 
thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!